The preload was already set to the factory, but is it possible for you to over or under tighten the axle nut when you're installing a bearing that's orbitally formed? We're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by FAG, a Scheffler brand. Visit repexpert.us for more information. This question comes from a recent webinar that we had, and the link is below in regards to orbitally formed bearings and the preload that's set up the factory. An attendee wanted to know, is it possible to over or under tighten the axle nut on these applications? Well, the answer is yes. Just remember that torque specification set forth by the manufacturer, it's more about the stub axle going through it. On some applications where it's not a drive axle or it's, let's say, a rear wheel drive vehicle with an all wheel drive option and there's no axle going through it, well, you don't have to worry about the axle nut. But if you do, well, the important thing to remember is that torque is about the stub axle going through the bearing. If you under tighten the stub axle nut, chances are you're going to damage the splines on the drive axle. Why? Well, they're not securely held in there and it can move back and forth, eventually cause wear, and eventually wear out the splines. If you over tighten it, well, kind of the same thing can happen. You could stretch that axle inside the bearing and cause potential damage. And what happens is, over time, as the power is applied to the splines, well, that play creates wear, and over time, the splines wear out and you get noise and eventually failure of the splines. So there you have it. Don't over or under tighten it and look up the torque specification for the axle nut, even if the preload is set at the factory for the hub unit. Also, check out the webinar below for more information. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.